Hi, Jason Bolden. We're here today. Thank you so much. This is going to be a fun series of conversations talking about our entrepreneurs. And now I really think you're going to love Carolina. Carolina Contreras. She's a Dominican American. She has a company called Miss Rizzo, a curly hair salon that celebrates women and little girls embracing their natural attributes. I love that. I'm excited. This is, I'm excited about this. Hi, Carolina. Welcome. I want to introduce you to Jason Bolden. We were just talking a little bit about you. And look, your beautiful hair. You look gorgeous. Thank you for giving me an excuse to wear my red lips today and to dress up. You look great and we're so happy to have you here. And please meet Jason Bolden. Hi, Hi Jason. how are you? What a privilege and an honor to, to be able to be with you right now. I have goose, I have goosebumps because your red lips and your crown is so epic. Tori was just talking about how how you are willing and ready to fight all these ridiculous stigmas and ideas of how black hair is supposed to be and you're here to just and you're here owning it and and, and i and i just enjoy a, a person who wants to own and occupy any space so Absolutely. i am grateful point blank period just in that moment i'm grateful for you occupying space can you tell us about your business? Yes, absolutely. You know, I am a Dominican American social entrepreneur. Um, and I started Miss Rizzo's as a blog nine years ago, actually. But we're now two curly hair salons, one in the Dominican Republic on the same street that my ancestors were once sold as slaves. Woo! The other God, one is here crazy. in the Platano Packing District of Washington Heights oh. in Inwood, Washington Heights, Uptown Manhattan. Oh. And we oh. help women, girls, and men too tap into oh. their self-confidence and love themselves just as they are. And this year has been difficult. You know, when COVID hit, my biggest concern were my team, 30 plus women whose income depended solely on Miss Rizzo's. So I too pivoted like everyone else and I became a full-time grant writer. I won a pitch competition. I was an online business and curly hair consultant and I was selling products online as well. And it was amazing because not only were we able to support our girls financially, but we kept the hope alive just as we're doing today. I think as a black Latina entrepreneur, my strongest muscle is that of resilience. And so I was able and fortunate to exercise it in a time of crisis like we're living in. And thankfully, both of my salons are currently open. So you can grab an appointment or your favorite curly hair products. And <laughs> So here we are, you know, trying to break beauty standards, trying to help black women feel seen and validated, especially in a time like right now. That's incredible. I just keep picturing in my head the little girls that come and sit in a chair and get to experience you, Carolina, and, and just the confidence that you instill in them by just telling them to embrace their natural beauty. What, what a great message. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's my favorite part of my job is to see them come in and then leave with this just huge confidence and with their head held high and they're swinging their curls back and forth. There's absolutely nothing, nothing like it. If anything that I can say is I am, I am thankful for the, the planet for creating someone like you. Thank you. I wasn't supposed to cry, but you have me all in my feelings right now. And Jason, I do have a question for you, if you don't mind. Go for it. I'm like, nervous. No. <laughs> Can you share how style and entrepreneurship align? Does it really matter what, what I wear to work? I want to know. I feel like like your, your style and clothes are just a bonus, right? It's the bonus for who you truly, truly are. So it's self, there's a way to express yourself in that. It's about being your best self. And when you have those moments to have, the, to do those quick elevator pitches and those, those moments when you're standing across from someone, you want that moment to be so clear, but yet not distracting. Because right. I want to hear everything that you have to say. And then I want to follow up when you walk out of the meeting and be like, whoa, that was a really great bag. I really love that, Jason. And honestly, Carolina, you have an inner joy and an inner beauty that shines far above anything that you put on your body. Exactly. I, love that. <laughs> I want to offer something to you, which is Gabrielle Union <laughs> and her hairstylist, her hairstylist, Larry Sims. I want to 
offer a moment to have a conversation with Gab and Larry and figuring it out. Just even just talk and just tell them about your product and things like oh, that. That would be amazing. I love that. And trust me, they are going to be thrilled to meet you. Uh, we're so excited. I have a present for you. Do you have it there that J that's from Jason and, and me? Great. You've been doing such a great job for so many other people that we wanted to take care of you a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. You bring light to so many people, Carolina. Thank you. I appreciate this and bringing this light and this moment of laughter and smiling during these very turbulent times. So thank you, Tori. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, the entire Tori Birch Foundation and Tori Birch team. Um, nice seeing you guys, Jason. All right. Lots of love and thank you.